as the epidemic was developing in China, we saw massive economic disruption, and I got interested in the impacts of that economic disruption. Uh, and it was actually showing up very clearly in changes in air quality in China. So I pulled data from air quality monitors, measured the substantial improvement in air quality in places like China. Air quality improved 20%. Um, and then I tried to measure the health impacts or the health benefits of those improvements in air quality. It turns out they're quite large. These calculations uh, help us understand the hidden cost of the status quo, what our economy does to our environment and to our health absent an epidemic. And so what I hope is coming out of the epidemic, uh, we can learn these lessons and keep these uh, improvements in environmental quality that we've seen. So my own personal carbon footprint is, I think, going to be down about 80% this year relative to last year, given all the travel canceled. And as a person who studies climate change, that's actually a really good outcome. And so personally, I hope the things that we have been forced to experiment with here uh, will lead to changes in our own personal behavior.